What do you think is the biggest damage from the coronavirus? Very good. Okay. The biggest damage of the coronavirus will not come from the virus. Is that specific virus, like other before it, cannot wipe mankind or even create a serious overall damage. Does it make sense to you? We had before many viruses, none took mankind out. Yes, the pain is immensible to the individual, his family, his friend, his group, and even his country. But the overall damage to mankind is not detrimental. This is the first thing you need to understand. The situation is really not so bad. That's the first thing, okay? Regardless of what people say, we are not going to disappear from Earth. Governments can make us disappear from Earth, but not this virus. The biggest damage of the coronavirus will come from the hysteria is motivated by misinformation campaigns and the resulting misunderstandings. So what you have, you have a lot of people that hear a lot of things that they don't understand, like for example, virus, and they're all being told that it's dangerous, 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 and they get into hysteria. When an attack by a small terrorist group causes hysteria, the hysteria can, can make powerful countries act, act weak, and the hysteria, not the terrorists, will wipe out the country. Do you understand that? So those viruses are small terrorist group that can hurt a few people, not a lot. In comparison to 8 billion people, they, this virus cannot affect a lot of people. But all it can do is create fear. Do you know what's the handling for terrorism? It's not a, maybe, I don't know if it's a practical handling, but the only handling in my view to terrorism is don't promote it. Make it illegal to promote it. If it is illegal to promote it, there will be no fear. If it, there will be no fear, there will be no value. Do you understand? It is the same with the coronavirus. It is a small terrorist. The more you promote it, the bigger it looks. Do you understand that? Do you, do you see the point? Now, so the actual enemy of the country was people under the influence of hysteria, not the viruses, not the terrorists. You understand? Not the terrorists. The terrorists are not the problem. They are not really an enemy. To say that a group of a thousand people attacking the U.S. or 2,000 or 10,000 people or 20,000 people attacking the U.S. or Israel or any country and considering that they are dangerous to the country, it's nonsense. The only way that they will become dangerous is if you will give them power. How do you give them power? You make them big. You make everyone and everyone agree that they are dangerous. So if everyone agrees that cockroach is dangerous, so cockroaches are dangerous. That's it. That's what it is. Now, the real enemy of mankind is not the virus, but the hysteria. The hysteria is then motivated by misinformation campaigns and the resulting mass misunderstanding that result in taking insane measures to fight an imaginary enemy. You cannot win the real enemy because it's not there. The enemy is not the virus. Uh, you know what makes people sick? What, what, what do you think makes people sick? What do you think makes people sick? 